Hey friends, today we're doing Liam's six month update. He just turned seven months, I'm always a month late. But big changes, we moved from Southern California to Northern California, had a six hour road trip. Well, it took more than six hours with three cats and Liam. It went very well. He just slept all the way through and then when he needed a diaper change, I would change him. <laughs> we would just take breaks. <laughs> He is close to crawling, but not crawling quite yet. Um, he likes to talk a lot. A lot of baby talk is happening. He's still a size 3 in diapers, which I think he will be for a while. Hi! I feel like his cheeks got bigger. Like, he's been making this weird face. Well, it's not weird. It's like so precious. He goes, can you do that for mommy? Yeah, mommy's crazy, huh? <laughs> You guys, he is like seriously, I feel like the happiest baby because he's always, <laughs> he's always laughing, he's always smiling, he's only mad or grumpy when he's tired or really hungry and he's never really that hungry because we're always feeding him. Um, I make him homemade baby food but when we were traveling to New York, I didn't make him homemade baby food and I just bought those like... You know those squeezy ones by Plum Organics, Earth Friendly, all those like different like baby foods and he really likes squash banana a lot. He also loves oatmeal still a lot. Um, he finally has a high chair. We got it for him when he turned six months and he can sit up on his own now and <laughs> he likes going to the grocery store in his little like grocery store cart cushion thingy that I bought. It's really uh. awesome. <laughs> you guys see the cheeks? I love your cheeks, baby. Yeah, um, what else is going on? Um, we traveled to New York and he was a trooper. I, oh my gosh, you guys, it was like the best flying experience because he did so well that people around us were complimenting us like, wow, he did so well, he didn't even cry. And I was like, thank you so much because, um, I mean, we've flown quite a few times with Liam. Um, Idaho at two months and then I think around three months we went to Minnesota and then at six months we went to New York well he turned seven months like right after New York but yeah he, he's such a good little travel baby and it was cold so we made sure to bundle him up and what else is going on I mentioned that he's so close to crawling he like sticks his little butt out it's so cute he's an idiot Big, big news. Um, Liam now sleeps in his own room, it, his little nursery. We do the bedtime routine and everything, and we, we sleep trained Liam. It may not be for everyone, you know, like it's so controversial, the whole issue of sleep training, but Justin and I chose to do it, and oh my gosh, you guys, last night for the very first time, he didn't even cry. We put him down, he, he kind of had like this little smile like, and then he was just rolling around and then when he re was ready to sleep, he just fell asleep. It was so incredible, you guys. I mean, the first two nights was probably the, the hardest. And I think it was the third night he fell asleep in a couple of minutes. And then um, we just have to figure out like the perfect time. And his perfect time is around 6.45 to like 7.15. If we go before or past that... It just doesn't work as well, but it still works. It just takes him a longer time. But typically for his sleep training or for him going down to sleep at night, it takes him 20 seconds of crying and then he falls asleep, like knocks out. I think a bedtime routine is really important. And we did a whole video on a bedtime routine. If you guys want to check that out, I'll link it below. I also have a homemade baby food recipe that I like to make for Liam. I'll also link that below. But overall, things are great, better than we expected as far as traveling with <laughs> with Liam. He's really good at grabbing things, you guys. He's, he, oh my gosh, when we went to um, an event for New York, Justin was actually carrying Liam and holding him. And it was so funny because Liam grabbed a strawberry from, <laughs> from, from a person's um, plate, like with his hand. It was so funny. Oh, other new things is he's not so into his little jumper anymore. I mean, he likes he likes having us hold him like this to jump, if you notice. But the jumper is not really his favorite toy anymore, which makes me sad because, you know, he would be on it for 10 minutes and I would, like, free myself for 10 minutes and eat something real quick, you know? <laughs> 
Yeah, but um, he likes being on the floor now. He loves talking. Oh, another thing. He has a class now. He's taking baby music classes every once a week, every morning. It is the coolest. We learn songs. We dance. We play little instruments. Well, he does it. I just do it for him, you know. It's the coolest. We even got, like, take-home assignments in music. Well, not really assignments, but, like, music. And we even um, have, like, these little baby instruments for him is man it's so cool seeing Liam with other babies because he likes he likes touching them he likes interacting with them it's cute and it's a variety of like ages like the youngest was like five months the oldest was like close to I think two or three so they're all different ages but they're all enjoying themselves and enjoying music that's pretty much it I'll give you guys another update for seven months and we'll see you guys next time